Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is the long-awaited SAS wish list. Oh my gosh, you guys. SAS is literally coming up and I think I'm gonna post this video on Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days. I know. Um, not excited that it's starting on a Monday because I will be at work, but I'll go on my lunch break, don't worry. Um, but I just wanna get into everything that I have on my wish list for SAS. And I'm gonna set a little precursor. I'm gonna try to be good this SAS and not get a lot of stuff. We'll see how that goes, fingers crossed. But I'm trying to reduce my collection in preparation for fall. If you guys have never been to my channel before, welcome. Something that you should know about me is that I love fall. Fall and winter is when I thrive. The scents, the smells, the feel in the air, it just makes me so happy inside and fall scents are my favorite. So I'm trying to reduce my collection in both candles and body care for preparation for fall so that I can just buy like crazy, which is what I did last year. Um, so I've been trying to get my collection under control. It's at a pretty good place, but I do still wanna keep using up stuff. Um, so my wish list is a little bit more toned down than it usually is, um, but I'll go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with candles, trying to limit myself from four to six candles. Um, we'll see. That's about what I got last SIS, um, or not actually last SIS, but the summer of last year. Um, so far I have a few candles that I'm hoping I can find for $8 again. So last year in my winter SIS video, I found $8 candles at my outlet. It was so crazy, but they were all, um, actually it was last summer I found, uh, Christmas and fall candles for $8 at SAS. So I'm hoping this year for the summer SAS I can find fall and winter candles again and then just like prep for this upcoming fall and winter. Um, so the ones that I have on my list that I'm hoping to find, which I did find last year, um, are pumpkin pecan waffles and hot cocoa and cream or the hot cocoa and cream, whichever one, they're kind of the same. Um, so those two I'm really hoping to find and maybe even a marshmallow fireside. Um, but if I can find some of those candles just in preparation for fall and winter, then that would be really nice. And then if I could find some other ones, I really want to find strawberry pound cake for a good deal. Maybe like the $10 or $12 candles. Um, that one is so good. I actually just finished my three wick in strawberry pound cake today. So I really want another one of that. And then eucalyptus mint, which I actually just finished the single wick in that last month. Um, I love that for the bathroom. Um, the single wick performs amazing. I wouldn't mind it in a three wick too, just depending on like the pricing and stuff. Um, but I think usually single wicks go for $6 at the beginning of SAS. Um, so if I can find that one, then I'll definitely get it. And then I do kind of want to get some sort of lemonade scent. Um, I had a nice, well, I thought it was nice, pomegranate lemonade going for a minute, and um, then it turned like a ker kerosene kind of smell. It smelled like burning gas. So I went and exchanged it, but I really do want some sort of like lemonade scent to get me through the rest of the summer. Um, so something like that, maybe like a, uh, I think I have a few actually on my wish list, like sun wash citrus, some sort of like fresh and fruity pineapple mango maybe, or um, pink lemonade, strawberry lemonade, raspberry mimosa. One of those kind of like fruity candles would be really great. I also have wild berry jam donut on my list. I don't know if they're still gonna have that candle, um, but if I find it, I might just get it if it's a good deal. And then I also have summer boardwalk on my list. I don't know if I really want it. I haven't smelled it in stores yet, but it is a staple and everybody says they love it. So I wanna smell that one and see what I think. And I also have ice cream bar on my list. I know this is more than six candles, but I do wanna smell ice cream bar and see how it is. Haven't actually smelled it before. So that's that on candles though. I really kinda of wanna keep it limited so that I can buy like crazy in the fall. Um, but I will also consider if they have like the little mini tester candles. Um, they had them at my outlet last summer for 250. So if I do find those, I'll probably get a few for like the bathroom um, and that would be really nice. So I'm not opposed to getting those as well, but that's it for candles. And now let's move on to hand soaps. Hand soaps I actually do need to restock on. Currently I only have like one backup for like a summer scent. And then I have like, I think two or three in a fall scent. So I do wanna get a few to last us through the rest of the summer. So I put it at six soaps is my limit. I really wanna find the $3 hand soaps, which they had last 
winter SAS. Um, they had like a huge section of $3 soaps at my outlet. So I'm hoping I can find those. Um, I'd also settle for 75% off, which would come down to like $1.80 each, which is really great. Um, I know I don't have like a specific scent that I'm looking for, but I do really like the foam hand soaps and um, I really, really love blackberries and basil. So if I can find that one, that's the one that I really want. Um, but the rest, I'm just going to get summer scents. Um, I'm going to try and get some simple ones that like my parents will like because we use them downstairs in like the shared bathroom. So maybe like a lemonade or some sort of citrusy scent is what she likes. So maybe something like that, but total six hand soaps. And that way we can kind of get through those easily in the summer. And then we'll transition to the fall ones when those come out, which actually Life Inside the Page Daily Finds on Instagram, she has a blog. She posted in there that in July, I think July 25th is when the first fall stuff is supposed to hit the stores. So I'm very excited about that. I think I'm actually gonna do like a fall video because she released a lot of stuff on her blog and I'm like really excited about it. But that's beside the point, this is the SAS video. <laughs> okay, the next thing is scented plugins. I do need a lot more plugins because we started actually using them in our house. We have one in the kitchen, one in the garage for my dad, and then one in the downstairs bathroom. And so I am kind of looking for a few gourmand ones to put in the kitchen, a few like I guess like fresh clean linen almost to put in like the garage because my dad never smells them so it doesn't really matter but it's right next to the laundry room so I feel like something fresh would be good um, maybe even manly I don't know um, and then for the bathroom just something fresh um, we have I think we have like an apple one from the fall in there right now so maybe something like fruity fresh not anything gourmand for the bathroom um, but total I said like six different ones just so we can easily go through those um, in the summer and then be ready for the new fall scents when they come out. So that's it for plugins. Okay, moving on to body care. Okay, so here's my caveats. Okay, I do want to limit it to only minis, except if I find these three scents. Vanilla Cake Pop, which they said is coming back. If I find Vanilla Cake Pop, I'm definitely going to get something in it. I don't know what yet. I don't know if I'm going to get the mist, the body cream, the lotion, the shower gel. I don't know, <laughs> maybe the body cream I'm thinking, um, but I'm definitely gonna have to get something in Vanilla Cake Pop because it's been talked about for so long and I've never smelled it and I feel like it would be right down my alley of a nice vanilla gourmand scent. Um, so that one, Margarita Cupcake, which they also said is coming back for SAS. If I find that one, I definitely wanna get something, probably like the shower gel I'm thinking and then I'll like bring it on vacation with me. And then Champagne Sprinkles, which is a new one coming out, which is Champagne and Icing. Are you kidding me? I love champagne toast. And then if you add in like the icing scent, I feel like that's gonna be such a good scent. So I'm gonna have to get that one if I find it at my stores. So that's, those are the three that are the exceptions if I find the full size of them. But besides that, only minis, only minis, Victoria. We'll see if I can commit to that. I hope I, I can be good. I don't know you guys, it's gonna be hard. Um, but so far for minis, I really only have like a strawberry pound cake mini um, fragrance mist that I want. Um, and then maybe like Hibiscus Paradise in something or like, I think they did have a Berry Waffle Cone Mini. So I would consider getting those if they are like a really good price, um, which I have found minis for like $1 at the Winter SAS. So it's possible, but yeah, I'm trying to limit myself to minis besides those specific fragrances that I said. Um, so that's gonna be hard, but wish me luck. And then um, I do need to pick up some hand lotions. I always stock up at SAS on hand lotions. I love the Bath and Body Works formula for hand lotion. I just found um, during quarantine when you know, you're know you using like the uh, hand sanitizer and you're washing your hands so much more, my hands were like cracking, they got so dry. And if they crack and bleed, like I'm done. I can't do anything, like it, it hurts too much. So I've really been using their hand lotions a lot. I go through about one a month. Um, so I'm planning on getting about three to last me through the summer and then I can, you know, start picking up fall ones. Um, so far I have a few on my list if I find them at a good price. Um, if they're 75% off, that means they're like $1.60 each. And I've also found them at the $1 table too. So I'm hoping to find those specific price points for them. 
Um, a few that I have on here are Sunshine Mimosa, Strawberry Pound Cake, that one is so good in a hand cream, um, Coconut Cream Pie, which I feel like would be really good for summer, and maybe Berry Waffle Cone. I don't know if that one's going to be very cheap because it is like a newer scent, um, so we'll have to see on that one. I'm open to like pretty much any other scent as well. Um, I just don't like florals and I don't really like uh, like laundry scents for body care, so probably something gourmand um, or fruity but I am looking for a few hand lotions. Um, I am looking for also a few car fragrance refills. Um, I probably need maybe only like two to get me through the rest of the summer. I have one summer one right now. Um, and then I have like a pumpkin pecan waffles that I accidentally got. Um, so that can be like the first one for the fall, but I do plan on picking up like at least two of them in some sort of summer scent, maybe like watermelon lemonade or like champagne toast or something like that. Um, and I will be looking for like a new vent clip um, because mine right now all the rhinestones are like pretty much gone I have found them for 75% off before so if I find one for 75% off that I like then I will consider getting it um, I'm in the market for a new one so we'll just see if I can find anything for that um, and then a few other miscellaneous things body oils I would consider getting them um, if I found one for $4.95, which I found the eucalyptus tea body oil in winter SAS for $4.95. So if I find one again for basically under $5, then I will consider getting another one. I'm like halfway through my eucalyptus tea right now, so I would definitely be in the market for getting another one if it was a good price. And then body scrubs. Um, I'm only really considering them if I find them for 75% off. Right now I have the hyaluronic acid one in my shower that I found for 75% off in winter SAS and I'm finally like getting to using that so I'll probably need a new one come fall so I'll consider getting a new one now maybe if I find it for a good price and I think it could be used like year-round um, but that's that on my wish list you guys it's actually not that long this year um, I'm a little saddened by it but it's okay because I'm trying to like I said get my collection down so that I could just go crazy in the fall and the winter but I'm very curious what you guys have on your list. I know there's a lot of really cool body care coming out and I'm like really sad that I might have to miss out on it, but I'm just thinking, I'm reminding myself in my head about all the great stuff they came out with last fall, like the Bake Shop collection. Oh my gosh, if they do something like that again, I am gonna wanna go crazy, like go ham and buy all of it. And so I'm just kind of thinking for the future, okay, what do I need to do so that I can go crazy in the fall and winter? and that is to get through a lot of my collection. So that's why I probably won't be purchasing that much at SAS, but I do definitely plan on doing a lot of vlogs. I definitely wanna go there the first day. I think I'm gonna go during my lunch break to the store near my work, and then I'm also gonna go after work to my outlet and my other just like regular shopping area one that's also a white barn, um, just to see what they have, but I, the outlet always has great stuff. So we're just gonna see. I'll vlog everything that I find. Um, even if I don't buy a lot of stuff, I will definitely have some cool videos for you guys. I plan on going at the beginning, the middle, and the end of SAS, so at least three times, probably more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my wish list. Let me know down below what are you guys looking forward to. Um, are you guys also like screaming excited that Vanilla Cake Pop is coming back because I can't wait to try it. I never got to try it, so fingers crossed. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!